Ecclesiastes chapter number 3. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3 verse number 1, the Bible says to everything there is a season. Somebody say a season. And then it says a time for every purpose under the sun. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which has been planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. Chapter 9. Verse number 11. Thank you. The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time Time and chance happen to them all. Psalm 102. Verse 13 says, You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time. The time to favor her, yes, the set time has come. The power of a moment. Life is packaged in key moments. In life, there are seasons of favor. And within the season of favor, there is your time. And within your time, there is your moment. Watch this. When a woman is pregnant, she is in her season. In the ninth month, she is in her due season. But there is a day that the child is born. So, you can be, watch this, you can be in your season but miss your moment. God packages life in moments and the reason why we are where we are is not because God has not given us a chance but because we have had a chance but we have missed our moment. In a 90 minute soccer match, why is it that most soccer matches on average is an average of maybe between one and three goals in a soccer match. Between one and three goals in how many minutes? How many seconds does it take to score a goal? Okay, let's say for argument's sake, it takes a second. How many seconds are in 90 minutes? So within the whole dispensation of 90 minutes, the only time that matters within the 90 minutes is not the 90 minutes. It is the one second that the goal is scored. And people miss chances. Chance after chance after chance. It's not a chance they've missed. It's a moment. A goal scored within that second can change the net worth, the value of a striker. One goal <laughs> scored on the right platform. Question, how many moments have you missed? How many moments did you miss today? Because today, the whole day, 24 hours is 1,440 minutes. But of the 1,440 minutes, it only, you only needed maybe five minutes in the day. So we've been focusing on the whole day. And yet the power is not in the whole day. The power is in the moment. Ecclesiastes 3 says, to everything there is a season and then he says a time not only is there a season we have focused on the season but we've ignored the time there is a time not just time God lives in eternity looks down into time but within the time there is a time that a time is a moment so it's not the, 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 the whole of your life that the purpose of God is fulfilled. There is a time, a, a small window. Life is preparation for golden moments. Most of your time is preparation for your next golden moment. So Ruth, if you are not married, you are preparing for your golden moment with Boaz. And if you miss it, you'll be stuck with Bozo the rest of your life. So your prayer is, Lord, help me to see which are my moments. There are people who fall asleep during the moment. There are people whose minds are somewhere else during the moment. 
every business has a moment. Your everyday mundane, everyday things you are doing every day are preparation for a moment. So you are perfecting your art. Where, where is your art perfected? Your art is perfected in daily boring routine. So you perfect your art so that when your moment comes, you perform your best. The devil's job is to steal your golden moment. Jealous people are people who missed their moment. So they condemn someone who is in their moment. It is not the whole nine months that you need to birth the child. It is the final ten minutes of pushing. But watch this. You can push in the eighth month. That means you are doing the right thing at the wrong time. There are many of us that are pushing things right now that are not yet in their due season. So we are frustrated because we are using more effort because we are not yet in our due season. Never mind the moment. To everything, there is a season. A time for every purpose. So it is the purposes of God that are fulfilled in that moment. The purposes of God. David was stuck at the backside of... What was he doing? He was perfecting his gifts, plural. Not just one gift. He was perfecting his gifts. The gift to play musical instruments. He was perfecting it at the backside of the desert. The, the gift of warring. He was perfecting it by fighting animals at the backside of the desert. But it only took one moment, a golden moment, to put David on the map. What was that moment? It was the Goliath moment. So everyone under the sound of my voice, you must have and pray for a Goliath moment because you can kill the bear and no one will know. It is because, yes, you have done a powerful thing, but you have done it somewhere at the backside of the desert. So don't despise the backside of the desert. It is to perfect your art, perfect your gift, perfect that which God has given you to work. You perfect it there while you pray for a Goliath moment. Now, if the Goliath moment comes and you have not perfected your gift, Goliath will kill you. There are people who were presented with Goliath before they were ready. These are people who did business deals that were too big for them. Moments, golden moments, are opportunities to solve big problems on a big scale. Joseph interpreted the dream of the prisoner, but he still remained in prison. Why? He was still perfecting his gift. So your gift is perfected in the wilderness or in the prison. Then the golden moment arrived. Pharaoh had a dream. He could not interpret the dream. Who was called? Where was he called from? To where? Aha. Before he even got to the palace, watch this, he was prepared. So what, would, what is allowed in the prison is not allowed in the palace. There are certain hairstyles that are prison hairstyles. Let me bring it to your language. There are certain suits that are prison suits. So Joseph had to have his beard shaved. Why? Why? Because Egyptians hated beard. So if he did not understand that, though it was his moment, though he was gifted, he would have been thrown out of the presence of the king because the king does not like beard. Study an atmosphere before you attempt to change it. 